so hey guys welcome to the video and in this video we'll be discussing how you can get started with the issues in the smart home app open source project and then you can contribute and make sure your issues are selected as soon as possible by mentors and it all depends on you guys so let's get started my name is Lakhan Kmoth I am project admin of smart home app and let's let, let's write dive into it so here you can see some project directory structures before creating any issues I would recommend you guys to go through it like in pubspec.yml we have some dependencies so I will recommend strongly recommend you guys to go through get it and provider and fl flutter screen util as well other are also required but these are the mandatory ones which you must go through before contributing to this project so uh, apart from these uh, you can check out the directory structure which is well defined and well organized code is very well written if you are adding a new screen it, uh, it will go over here in the screens uh, folder and here you can follow the approaches like followed in this screen so it all depends on you guys exploring this project as much as possible so uh, let's create a new issue so here I'll create a new issue so uh, here let me show you again so I'll click on this button new issue so I'll not click on any of this on the top three buttons because they are related to something else if you want to explore you can explore them but don't create an issue with any three of the top you have to click on this fourth one get started so click here and add some title like uh, I I have added some home screen you home screen ui code refactor make sure your issue title is very small and not too long not too long it should be small and your description will be very long make sure you provide a very uh, descriptive description where detailed description if i'll say where mentors can easily, easily get what you are actually trying to contribute the more descriptive you will go I'll recommend you guys go from 60 to 50 to 60 words minimum to maximum as, as you guys like sorry typo here to maximum as you guys want to go so uh, the more descriptive approach you will follow the more chances are of your issue get sort, getting shortlisted first by mentors so here you will select the domain like home screen ui code refactoring is a type of uh, other uh, domain is not mentioned over here like but it is related to ui and ux because i am doing the refactoring for ui code and type of contribution is refactoring if i if i am adding a new screen then it will be addition i am refactoring and enhance Enhancement means doing some logic stuff. So here I am refactoring. Make sure you follow this community guidelines, which is very well written. And I hope, being time being, I'll not go th go through all of them. But I recommend you guys go to go through all of them and can follow what's written inside it. Make sure you follow these productivity steps. They are very important while contributing to this project so let's uh, see what's in the issue so i here is the code of content uh, conduct make sure you also go through it and let's close all of this and submit new issue so when you submit new issue a mentor will reach you shortly if you have described your issue well and your domains and contribution type are correct and mentor has got your issue what you are actually trying to contribute then he will assign some labels to you depending on the type of issue so this is enhancement and designing and it is a level one depending on the type of issue where is a where it, whether it is difficulty level very difficulty level rises so it will be assigned some level and as a gsoc label and then you will be assigned to it like i'll assign myself you guys don't have these privileges these privileges will be uh, present to admins and the project mentors 
so they will be doing this to uh, your issue so then you can if the issue is assigned to you then you can start working on it so this is the steps you will be following while creating a issue one very important thing you guys need to keep in mind that please do not duplicate issues like yeah, I have created this issue for home screen code and I have created this issue for splash screen as well. So please do not do this because uh, having duplicate issues at a time is against community guidelines because there are many people who want to contribute to the repo and uh, uh, if you are taking place of two issues then you are uh, you are in the you are 